Meta is changing all the time. This includes creating a Facebook business page and its evolving features for small businesses. So today my focus is to walk you through the updated process of setting up and launching a new Facebook business page the right way. Also, towards the end of this tutorial, I'll share three key strategies in 2025 for building authority and driving new customers with your Facebook business page. Okay, so with that quick note, let's jump over to Facebook and navigate through the process of building your Facebook business page. Now, in order to create a Facebook page for your business, you do need a personal Facebook profile. Facebook requires business pages to be associated and connected to a personal profile. And don't worry, your network inside your personal Facebook account will not see that you've created a Facebook page unless you invite your network to follow the page that you just created. Now, just quickly before I navigate through the updated process of creating a Facebook page for your business the right way, why is it important that your business has a Facebook page. First, having a Facebook business page allows you to run ads on your profile, meaning that you can invest in ads across Meta, reaching your audience globally across Facebook, Instagram, as well as other networks. Also, having a Facebook page helps your business's SEO search engine optimization. A Facebook page actually has high authority and credibility on Google, so having a Facebook page for your business will increase the organic discoverability on search engines like Google Search. This Facebook business page will also send social signals back to your website and will ultimately boost your website's rankings online as your business page is connected to your website. And finally, having a Facebook page for your business will increase your Facebook discoverability. By creating posts, videos, reels, and engaging with your audience on your Facebook business page, you will increase your business's, your brand's discoverability on Facebook. Okay, so now that we understand the importance of having a business page for your business, let's go ahead and create a business page. To do that, jump into Facebook and then navigate up to this menu in the top right-hand corner. Then locate page. Simply navigate over to the left-hand side and add your business name. And this should be the exact name of your business or brand. If you're creating a Facebook page for a personal brand, then this should be the personal brand name. For the purpose of this tutorial, I wanna create a Facebook business page for a brand called Coconut Skincare. Now, if your brand or business name has already been taken, you will need to add a variation. Then once you've added your page name, go ahead and add categories that describe your business, your brand. And you can add up to three categories. This helps describe your page when someone lands on your business page and also helps with the discoverability of your business on Facebook. Okay, so once you've added up to three categories, navigate down to bio. Simply add a brief description about your brand. I've quickly added natural skincare made from organic coconuts through sustainable farming in Bali. Also, don't stress too much about the information you added here. You can always change this information later on. Navigate down and click on create page. And just like that, our page has been created. Now we need to add our business details and further customize our business page. To finish setting up our page, go ahead and add your website then add your business phone number, then business email address, and then your business location. If you're an online store, you can leave this blank, but ideally you do want to add a location. This could be where your online store operates from. Now a quick note, the information I'm adding here is just example information for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, let's navigate down the page and then add your opening hours. Because this is an online store, we're open 24 seven. This refers to when someone can shop for our products. If you're a local service-based brick and mortar business and you have a physical location, then go ahead and add your specific hours of operation. Then once you've added these details, come down and click on next. And again, you can make changes to the details we've added later on after creating your page. Here we can see the health of our page. This is in comparison to other similar pages with high engagement. Next, let's navigate up to add profile picture and add our Facebook page profile picture. Here's a profile picture I created earlier. And now let's add a Facebook cover photo. Again, here's a cover I created earlier. And if you like, you can drag to reposition that cover image. I'm happy with that. Now, if you currently don't have a logo or cover photo for your business page, you can use a free online design tool like Canva. And I actually use Canva to quickly create the profile picture for this demonstration, as well as the cover photo. Canva allows you to select a pre-made template or you can build from scratch. Then simply take the time to browse through Canva's massive library of images, elements, and text. Their easy to use, innovative drag and drop builder allows you to create any kind of design that you're after. If you're completely new to Canva, what I'll do is add a tutorial down below in the description to help you get started with Canva. 
Okay, so back here, once you've added your profile picture and your cover image, navigate down to add action button. Then click on try it. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. This is where you can add a specific action button to your Facebook page. What you want to do is ask yourself this question. What do you want your page visitors to do when they land on your page? Do you want them to book an appointment with you, sign up to a form on your website, start an order, view products, or buy tickets? You can also add a contact button by adding Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. And this allows your page visitors to quickly contact you. For me, because I run an online store, I'm going to go ahead and click on view shop and then next. And here I have two options. I can allow people to shop directly on Facebook or connect another tool. For my example, if I have products listed on a different platform, I would connect that platform here. Now you can also set up Facebook shop. And like I mentioned, this allows people to shop directly on Facebook. If you're interested in learning more about Facebook shop, I will add the appropriate tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. Okay, so I'm actually going to navigate back and click on send message because typically my customers have questions they want to ask me before they buy. Once you've added an action button, navigate down to next. Here I'm happy to use the messenger account for this business page, then come down, click on save, and then next. If you and your business uses WhatsApp, go ahead and add your WhatsApp number in here, then get code to verify that WhatsApp number, and then you can click on next. And the great thing about having a Facebook business page, as well as an Instagram business account and a WhatsApp channel for communication, is you can centralize all these communications into one place. And this is called the Meta Business Suite. Inside the Meta Business Suite, you can manage your inboxes across WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, and engage with your audience and customers directly inside this platform. And there's also a whole lot more that you can do in order to manage your business across your different social media channels. And this is a completely free platform that you have access to. If you're interested in learning more about the Meta Business Suite, I will add the appropriate tutorial down below in the description to help you get started with the Meta Business Suite. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to leave the WhatsApp number blank and come down and click on skip. Here we have the option to initially grow our business page by inviting our audience on our personal profile to follow our new business page. You can do that by navigating up to invite friends and you can choose the friends inside of your network that you want to invite to follow this page. Again, we can do this later, so let's navigate down to next. Here you can choose how you want to receive your notifications. I want to enable page notifications on my profile and I want to keep this option disabled, marketing and promotional emails about your page. Once you've done this, come down and click on done. And congratulations, just like that, you now have a Facebook business page. Feel free to navigate through the tour. For me, I'm going to click not now. And now we can start managing and building our page. Now, if you want to jump back to your personal profile, simply navigate up to the top right hand corner and navigate down to your different profiles. Here we can see all our profiles connected to our account. For example, I can navigate up to Stuart Gould and that would take me to my personal account. Then if I wanted to jump back to my new business page, all I would do is locate that profile. Okay, so that's how you can switch between different accounts. Let's navigate over to edit and here we can make further changes to our business page. I'm happy with my profile picture as well as my cover photo. Let's navigate down here. We can also create an avatar if we like. I wouldn't recommend this for a business page. Again, we can edit the bio as well as customize our information. Down here, we can edit our about info. And what we wanna do is make sure that we're taking the time to fill out our about section. Under contact info, we can add our service area. If you're a local business and you provide services to different locations, if we navigate down further, then we have website and social links. Here you want to connect your social media accounts. For example, if you have a LinkedIn business profile, a TikTok or YouTube account, you want to add those links here. This will not only show your page visitors your different accounts, but it will also help with the online branding and connectivity between your different online assets associated to your brand. Again, this all works towards the discoverability and credibility of your brand online. Navigate down to basic info, add your price range. Here you can add services if you have services, as well as languages. And down here we can add the founding date of our business. We navigate down further, we have the option to invite friends to this page again, and then we have other information down here. This is more relevant to a business page that's associated with a personal brand. 
these sections will then be more relevant to you. Now what we can also do is navigate over to settings and here you have more control over your Facebook page settings. For example, reaction preferences, as well as notifications, accessibility, and more. For most page owners, for now, you can leave all this as default. Now, if we navigate down the page and click on access and control, here you have the option to deactivate this page. This page will be disabled and its name and photos will be removed from most things that is shared. You can reactivate this page at any time. And also down here, you have the option to delete this page. Okay, let's cancel out of this and then navigate over to page details. And that's gonna take us back to our page. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you have access to the Meta Business Suite. This allows you to access tools and features across all your Meta assets. Let's click here. Again, this is where you can create, post, and schedule content across Facebook and Instagram. You also have access to an inbox where you can manage all your conversations and comments across Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. You also have access to a content planner. You can start creating ads and more tools. Again, if you want to dive deeper into the Meta Business Suite and understand how you can make the most out of this free business platform, I will add the Meta Business Suite tutorial down below in the description. Okay, let's exit out of the Meta Business Suite and head back to our business page. Hey, just quickly, before we get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance, and with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. Now, you can also add other admins to your business page to help you manage your account. To do that, simply navigate back over to settings, then navigate down to page setup, and if we navigate up to page access, here we can add people that have access to this account. Here are the access details if you add someone else to your account. All you need to do is navigate up here and search for that account. Ideally, you want to be friends with that individual before being able to locate them and adding them to your account. Now let's close out of this and that's gonna add them as an admin, where they have full control over your account. A better option is community managers. You can simply add community managers, and they can help moderate chat comments, suspend or remove people who violate community standards, and they can also see all the admins of this page. So if you're just after help with managing your page, then adding community managers is a great idea. However, maybe you have another business manager or an admin that you want to give full access to, then you'd give them access here. Okay, let's navigate back to our business page and let's navigate down here. Here we can create our first post, either a live video, photo or image post, or a reel. And you can also add stories from your mobile device. Now, what are three strategies that you can use to grow your business page? Again, like I mentioned, you can leverage the Meta Business Suite to create and schedule content. This means you can bulk create content and schedule that content to be published on a regular basis. This will ultimately grow your page over time. Also, you want to leverage Reels. Reels are incredibly popular on Facebook and Instagram and can drive a significant amount of traffic to your page. Reels are essentially vertical format video content that you can post simultaneously on Instagram and Facebook. This will help you grow your discoverability and grow your page. Also, like I mentioned before, what you wanna do is head over to the Meta Business Suite and make sure that you connect your Instagram business account. That way when you post on Instagram, whether it's a real story, a live, or just a regular post, you can choose to automatically post that content onto your Facebook business page too. Again, that's going to help grow your business page. Okay, let's navigate back. Now what you can do is also link and share your business page across your other platforms. You can link your Facebook page in the footer of your website as well as add it as a post across your other platforms and you can also add your Facebook business page in your email signature. This is all gonna help with exposure for your business page. Now at the moment if we navigate up here you can see our URL is plain and looks like this. What we can do is add further branding by navigating over to settings then down to page setup again and here we can navigate over to our name, and this is where we can change our business name if we like. However, what you wanna do is set a username, and your Facebook URL will look like this, facebook.com forward slash, and then your username, your business name. For example, coconut skincare NZ, and then save changes. And our new username will look like this, and this is the username, the URL, that we can link across our different platforms. And there we have it, you now have a Facebook business page and you understand some strategies in order to grow your business page. 
Remember, you want to leverage Meta to create and schedule posts on a regular basis. You also want to leverage Reels on Instagram and Facebook, and you want to connect Instagram with Facebook so that you can simultaneously post between the two. And you also want to add a branded username to your Facebook business page and then share that URL across your other online assets like your website, inside your email signature, and as links connected to your other social media profiles. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this tutorial showing you the updated process of creating a Facebook business page in 2025. And there we have it guys, that is it for this updated Facebook business page tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this process or anything to do with Meta, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.